In this video, I'm going to show you how you can digitize your audio cassette tapes. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Tech That Doesn't Bite. Do you have a bunch of these audio cassette tapes that you would like to digitize to a digital format? Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need is a cassette player. This could be an old stereo or a Walkman as well, followed by a USB audio capture device. And this device has a 3.5 aux cable, a USB port, and also the RCA jacks, followed by a Mac computer as well. And you're also going to need some sort of audio editing software as well. In my case, I'll be using Audacity for this video. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna plug in the aux cable part from your audio capture device into the headphone jack of your stereo or your Walkman. And then you plug the USB part from the audio capture device to your computer. And you're gonna go into your sound settings and make sure that the input is selected as USB PMP audio device. Now go ahead and open up Audacity on your Mac computer. The next thing you wanna do is make sure to save your project you just go to the file, save project as, and name it to anything that you like. The next thing you want to do is you want to go into the preferences setting within Audacity. And one of the things that you need to look out for and change under recording is to make sure that software playthrough of input is checked off. That way, when you are playing your tape, you can actually hear it while you're recording it using Audacity. Now go ahead and press the record button on Audacity and also press the play button on your stereo or Walkman. And you're going to notice that it's going to start picking up the sound from your stereo and make sure to increase the volume just a little bit on your stereo and let it record. Once you have finished recording your song, you just go ahead and press stop and you might get this little warning message. Audacity has the ability to detect dropouts. So you can actually just press OK and play back your track through Audacity to make sure that the sound that you're capturing is perfect and it has no dropouts. Question of the day for everyone is how many audio cassette tapes do you have? And what audio software are you going to use to digitize these? Let me know in the comments below. And if you do like this video, please make sure to smash the like button, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you get notified of new videos. Let's get back to the tutorial. So the next thing you want to do is you want to look at your first track and edit out anything that you don't want. So for example, that first part where I just cut out, you know, it didn't have any sound picking up and these blank areas, just delete them as well. I can also apply some effects as well. So maybe I want some noise reduction. I want to normalize it. And after that, I just go to file, export, export as an MP3. And I can name the MP3, choose my save destination, and also save it as either a stereo or joint stereo file. I kept it as joint stereo because that's a method to save file space while still maintaining that stereo sound and pick the file quality as well. And after that, I'm just going to type in the metadata on my MP3. Click OK. And there is my first track. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start capturing my second track. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rename my first track to track number one. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to tracks in my menu bar and then click on add new stereo track. And this will be the second audio track that I'll be capturing from my audio tape. And you're basically gonna do the same thing for all the audio tracks that you wanna capture from that cassette tape. So this is how you would digitize audio tapes using a Mac computer. Now stay tuned for my next tutorial because I'm gonna show you how you can digitize audio tapes on a Windows computer. If you want to learn how to digitize your VHS collection, check out my tutorial video at the end of this video. And I'll see you next time.